Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to deal with an important system that is cardiology. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. And we can see the questions and answers one by one. The first question is weight of human heart is. The options are 500 gram, 450 gram, 300 gram, 650 gram. Weight of human heart is. And the answer is 300 gram. The weight of human heart is ranging from 250 to 330 gram. The average is 300 gram. Second question. Normal cardiac output of an adult is 8 liter, 3 liter, 7 liter, 5 liter. Normal cardiac output of an adult. And the answer is 5 liter. The cardiac output is an amount of blood. The heart pump through the circulatory system in a minute. So, normal cardiac output is 5 liter. Third question, excessive fluid accumulation in the pericardial space. The options are core pulmonale, pleural effusion, pericarditis and cardiac tamponade. And the answer is cardiac tamponade. Excessive fluid accumulation in the pericardial space is cardiac tamponade. Fourth question, abnormal fall in systolic BP more than 10 mm of Hg during inspiration. The options are pulses paradoxes, orthostatic hypotension, pulse deficit and hypotension. Abnormal fall in systolic BP more than 10 mm of Hg during inspiration. And the answer is pulses paradoxes. The fifth question, which cardiac enzyme has led to increase in specificity in detection of myocardial infraction? The options are creatinine kinase, troponin, lactate dehydrogenase and myoglobin. Which cardiac enzyme has led to increase in specificity in the detection of MI? And the answer is troponin. The cardiac enzymes are myoglobin, CKMB, troponin T and troponin I. The myoglobin elevated within 2 hours and last for 24 hours. CKMB elevated within 4 to 6 hours and last for 72 hours. Troponin T is most accurate test and elevated within 3 hours and last for 21 days. And troponin I is specific test elevated within 7 hours and last for 7 days. And the sixth question, characteristic change in ECG when a patient have hypokalemia. The options are short T wave, widened QRS complex, U wave and tall T wave. And the answer is U wave. U wave seen in hypokalemia and tall T wave is seen in hyperkalemia. The seventh question, T wave represent repolarization of the options are Purkinje fibers, atrium, ventricles and bundle of his. T wave represent repolarization of the answer is ventricles. The P wave represent atrial depolarization, PR interval representing Resting period of electrical impulses in AV node. QRS complex is ventricular depolarization. The T wave represents ventricular repolarization. The answer is ventricles. Eighth question. Normal CVP is. Options are more than 20 mm of Hg. Less than 20 mm of Hg. 2 to 12 mm of Hg. 20 to 30 mm of Hg. Normal CVP is and the answer is 2 to 12 mm of Hg. The CVP is central venous pressure. It assesses the superior vena cava pressure. And the ninth question is most characteristic subjective clinical manifestation of pericarditis. The options are joint pain, dyspnea, palpitation and chest pain. 
most characteristic subjective clinical manifestation of pericarditis. The answer is chest pain. Chest pain that is pericardial pain is seen in pericarditis. Pericarditis is the inflammatory disease of the pericardium. The tenth question common symptom of left ventricular failure. The options are dyspnea, orthopnea, wheezing, and paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. Common symptom of left ventricular failure. Answer is paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. The paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea is an attack of severe shortness of breath and cough that generally occur at night. Other symptoms of left ventricular failure are pulmonary edema, pulmonary congestion, restlessness, tachycardia, confusion, etc. Eleventh question. Normal therapeutic level of digoxin in blood is the options are 0 0.9 to 2 ng bar ml, 2 to 3 ng bar ml, 0 0.09 to 0 0.2 ng bar ml, 0 0.01 to 0.1 ng bar ml. And the answer is 0 0.9 to 2 ng bar ml. The therapeutic level of digoxin is 0 0.9 to 2 ng bar ml. The twelfth question, position given for a patient to reduce myocardial workload. The options are supine, fowler's, sideline and prone. Position given for a patient to reduce myocardial workload. And the answer is fowler's position. The next question, common arteriolar vasodilator is the options are sorbitrate, nitroglycerin, hydralazin and sodium nitroprusside. Common arteriolar vasodilator. And the answer is hydralazin. The next question. The analgesics which is to be administered when a patient is admitted with MI. The options are tramadol, wovaran, morphine and vecuronium. The answer is morphine. The management of MI is representing as onum. The O is oxygen, N is nitroglycerin, A is aspirin. And M is morphine. So, management of MI is onum. The 15th question. Most common cause of arterial aneurysm is? The options are arteriosclerosis, hypertension, infections, congenital defects. Most common cause of arterial aneurysm. The answer is? Arteriosclerosis. Next question. Common manifestation of abdominal aortic aneurysm. The options are pulsating mass in abdomen, flank pain, back pain and vomiting. Common manifestation of abdominal aortic aneurysm. The answer is pulsating mass in abdomen. Common manifestation of abdominal aortic aneurysm is pulsating mass in abdomen. Next question. Common complication associated with thromboangitis obliterans. The options are gangrene, bleeding, infection and severe pain. And the answer is gangrene. In thromboangitis obliterans, blood vessel become inflamed, swell and can become blocked with blood clots. And the next question is, common clinical manifestation of pulmonary embolism. The options are purulent sputum, dyspnea, chest pain and orthopnea. Common clinical manifestation of pulmonary embolism. 
The options are Purlan, Sputum, Dyspnea, Chest Pain and Orthopnea. The answer is Chest Pain. The next question, the energy level which is used for defibrillation. The options are 300 Joule, 200 Joule, 180 Joule, 240 Joule. The energy level which is used for defibrillation. And the answer is 200 Joule. Next question, a synchronous cardioversion is given in the options are atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, atrial flutter and ventricular tachycardia. A synchronous cardioversion is given in and the answer is ventricular fibrillation. The ventricular fibrillation is a life-threatening heart rhythm start in the bottom chambers of the heart and it can be triggered by a heart attack. Next question, in acute inferior wall MI, best morality of treatment is, the options are IV fluid, digoxin, diuretics and vasodilators. The answer is IV fluids. The inferior wall MI occur due to right coronary artery injury or thrombosis. It's a common type of MI. In case of anterior wall MI, left anterior descending artery is affecting. It's a complicated type. Pulmonary edema will occur. So, fluid restriction given for a patient with anterior wall MI. The next question. Egg in cup appearance on chest x-ray is seen in. The options are TOF, MR, pericarditis and TGV. And the answer is TGV. That is transposition of great vessels. So otherwise called egg in a string appearance. The next question. Drug of choice in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is. Options are propanolol, verapamil, digoxin and amiodarone. And answer is propanolol. Next question. Which of the following hypertensive act directly on blood vessels? The options are hydralazine, alpha methyl dopa, captopril, propanolol. Which of the following hypertensive act directly on blood vessels? The answer is hydralazine. The 25th and last question. Sustained elevation in the BP with end organ damage is. The options are primary hypertension. Secondary hypertension, white coat hypertension and malignant hypertension. Sustained elevation in the BP with end organ damage. And the answer is malignant hypertension. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.